the first place I'd go to is the gospel. The gospel is good news. It's always good news. It's only good news. Uh, and I would go to that church planter and I would remind him, or that church planting team, and I'd remind them of the good news of Jesus, that Jesus has done it all. There's nothing any of us uh, can do. He's secured the kingdom of God through his life, death and resurrection. Um, and, and any activity that we are called to, any, any ministry that we engage in, has to be in the context of that glorious finished work of Christ. So that his cry from the cross, it is finished, wasn't empty rhetoric, it wasn't meaningless bravado. It was a glorious statement of reality. It is finished, I've done it all. So our task isn't to do anything uh, to, to, to add to that. Our task is to live in the light of it. Um, and because in a sense, I can never do enough if it's down to me. Uh, we can never work hard enough. We can never put enough hours in. We can never speak to enough people. If, if the salvation of all the people in my city depends upon me, then, then I am being uh, terribly remiss if I sleep. But of course, sleep is a gift of God. Um, and I'm only going to be able to sleep and sleep well if I know that I operate within the sphere of God's glorious sovereignty and the finished work of Jesus. Um, the reason we're, we're, we're uh, uh, in terms of burnout, the reason that we get tired and frustrated is because we're driving ourselves and we're being driven by personal ambition. Uh, if we're being driven by a passion for God's glory, then we know that God is far more passionate about his glory than we are. And he will look after his glory far more effectively than we're able to. And when we know that, then we can rest. And when we're resting in that work, then we can work hard. 